Dallas still stinks. Yo, everybody doing? King Ding back here, and you know, I don't even know what to say. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. How the hell does this crap happen to us all the time? All the time, even even when it's not. Even when it's not football season, we got major pieces going down. The Eagles today, and I'm sure most of you have heard by now, uh, they just lost Brandon Brooks for the season with, an, with a torn Achilles. That is a devastating, devastating injury. And I, I, I just can't believe that this is happening. I'm sitting there at the store. I get a notification saying Brandon Brooks uh, is out for the 2020 season uh, because of torn Achilles. And I'm thinking, what? What do you mean? It, we didn't even play any football. I didn't even have OTAs or minicamp. Uh, I mean, I saw a video of him the other day doing, like, kickboxing. The dude was in shape. He looked ready to go. And he tears his Achilles. Uh, this is a devastating injury for the Eagles. I, I, I just, man, it's like we, we can get no breaks when it comes to injuries. And uh, it, I don't know I don't know what they're going to do. Matt Pryor, maybe, somebody like that. Um, my hope right now, I think the obvious and, and everybody's saying, you got to go sign Jason Peters. And you got to convince Peters to, to play inside. I mean, I don't know what else to do. You know, uh, I don't even know who, who's out there. Um, you know, I was just talking about my other video that, you know, they had, uh, SI had made the Eagles wide receiver position the weakest link. And I was saying, no, I think it's linebacker. Um, but one of the other areas that I've been concerned about is the depth in the interior offensive line. And now with Brandon Brooks out for the year, I'm very, very concerned about it. He's the best He's the best guard in football when healthy. And to be not even in football season and to be starting with injuries again, I, I hope I hope this isn't a you know a sign of things to come. No question about it. Uh, it's upsetting, man. It's upsetting. And, and I think you gotta go out and I think you gotta get Jason Peters. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do, you know, and, and you can't really blame like, oh, well, it must be uh, the trainers. We have bad trainers. We have this. We have that. Uh, this is just one of those things that happens, happens. I mean, he's getting a little bit older and those kind of things happen. And he's now had injuries the last few years. And, uh, you know, you wonder if, if, if the age is making injuries easier and easier. And you just hate to see it. I pray for Brandon Brooks, I pray that he gets better, uh, that he recovers from this, you know, 100% and all those things, but that's devastating injury for the Eagles. The only good thing we got going for us with this is that it's that it's June. There's time to make a move and to bring somebody in, time to get somebody ready. Uh, this isn't happening week one of the NFL season or week two of the preseason. Uh, we've got time. So Howie Roseman's going to have to, to to man up, figure out what to do, and get doing it and get the right guy in here because we're going to have to replace him with somebody. Uh, but Brandon Brooks, devastating news. Uh, I'm pissed off about it. I'm pissed off. I'm sad. I'm upset. But what can you do? Um, I don't know. What Sucks. Sucks. Anyways, I'm not going to keep you long in this video. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.